Jan here again and a super quick roundup of what I got at the sales this weekend, my bargains. Um, it's the 16th of October today, so uh, this first item was the only thing I got at Saturday's Fagate boot sale. And as you can see, it's a, a Gemini or Gemini mug. Still got its uh, maker's label on there, and it's in the zodiac range by Dunoon. And I actually paid quite a lot for this one. I paid two pounds for it, but I have sold um, others. Um, I can't remember which one it was. I think it might have been Scorpio. I've sold before, but it sold for about eighteen. So. I thought, well, I don't mind paying up if there's a possibility that it'd sell. But having said that, there are lots and lots of different makes that, different manufacturers that make very similar looking. So they look as though they're all the same range, but they're not all done in. Some of them are unbranded. Some of them are another brand completely and slightly different sizes as well. But it's the done ones that seem to fetch the better money if you can get hold of them so that's two pound mug from Faygate then while we were at Faygate there was a, a notice up saying that there was a jumble sale at 12 o'clock um, in Colgate which is the next village up the road and I went to the jumble sale walked in if you've seen the jumble sale footage you'll, you'll see as I walk in I spot this I pick it up straight away see that it's Neo and the lady said two pounds it used to be jumble sales where everything was pennies you know you'd have a huge great big heap of clothes and it'd all be 5p or 10p each but prices have really gone up now it's a pound two pounds ten pounds but I suppose that's inflation isn't it really but the whole idea of the jumble sale is the community just give um, their old things that they don't want anymore and it's raising money for charity. And so the, the people running it just want to get rid of everything. So whilst they want to make as much money as they can, they really shouldn't be charging too much or they're going to end up with stuff left at the end of the day. And, you know, there used to be boots at uh, Jumble Sales every single Saturday years ago. You know, there would always be one somewhere. But I think boot sales have kind of taken a lot of that away because people aren't donating because they're taking it to the boot sales and selling it for themselves. So anyway, we move on to Sunday. And I've, I've, I've got such a thing about the colour purple. I saw these and wasn't really intending to buy them at all, but picked them up and the lady said a pound. They're yours for a pound, so... I thought, oh, well, for a pound, they're purple. I'll take them. But unfortunately, one of them fits like a glove and the other one just wouldn't seem to go on. So even though I know that my feet are slightly different sizes, that seemed odd. But they are rather pretty. But the lining, it's got like a, a cosy lining. But that's actually, um, it is stuck inside, but it's like loose at, at the top so it's a little bit awkward you've got to hold on to it while you're putting it on but anyway that with with one not fitting they're no good for me so I thought well what I'll do is I'll offer them to Neil's mum because she could use them almost like slippers because they're warm inside but then if she needs to nip out into the garden you know they've got a a proper sole on them so if she'd like them then she can have them. If not, I'll just um, hang them out the front with a sign saying free and somebody else can have them. Right, so then um, the first thing that I'd seen at that boot sale actually was, and this was Poinings. This is the mega boot sale, which moves between Poinings and Sayers Common. Next week, if you're seeing this um, and you're local, uh, next week is Sayers Common. And this is a Kath Kidston london scenes teapot so you've got the london eye there big ben uh, st paul's cathedral 
not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. Possibly the bottom bit of Nelson's column. I haven't got a clue. But anyway, as soon as I, I started looking at it, she said that's Kath Kidston. And sure enough, the uh, bottom stamp is Kath Kidston. And she wanted five pounds for it. They don't sell for a lot, but you never know until you list it if it's going to sell at all. And then I found um, this mug. It's a hand-painted mug, and it says Sexy Shoes and Great Gossip. And it's by Whitard. So I saw that. It's quite a heavy, clunky mug, and I thought, mm, I don't know. Normally I would pick up Whitard, but I thought, mm, I don't know. Walked a couple of steps further, and on the same table, spotted this little teapot. And I thought, that looks as though it should be a pair. So I said to the lady, how much is the teapot? And she said, 150. And then I said, oh, I'll take the mug as well then. And she said, is it? Do they go together? And I said, well, I don't know. They're the same brand. But when you do that, it looks like every bit like, yes, I think they are designed to go together. So I ended up paying £2.50 for the whole thing. That's a nice little set. And usually these uh, teapots for one just do a, a, a smaller size cup of tea rather than the a proper size mug. So I thought, well, that was okay. I got some um, brand new men's hankies, British Home Stores. Uh, they went years ago, so so these are, are definitely have some age to it because I can't remember when British British Home Stores went out of business, but they're certainly not running now. But I always pick up new hankies when I see them because I don't use um, Kleenex tissues. So I just like to have loads and loads of hankies and then especially if you do get a sniffle or a cold or anything then you want to have a great supply so that you can uh you know wipe your nose blow or blow your nose whatever just do it the once and then sling it straight in the wash and rather elegant bees my dad always had hankies with monogrammed hankies but i don't know anybody called b so i should keep those and um I should be B, B should be me. And then the last thing, um, Neil bought this. We've been looking at this in the pet shop for ages. Um, but I don't know how much they are in the pet shop. I've got it in my head, they're about 30 quid. But this is actually a Nerf gun for dogs. And it shoots tennis balls. It's... Uh, in its literature, because I've looked them up online, it says it, it shoots the tennis ball 50 feet into the air. It shoots nowhere near 50 feet. Um, and that's not just me. The reviews as well say that it doesn't go that far. But having said that, I've got an arthritic shoulder and I don't have enough strength to launch balls the same distance that Neil can. So I thought, well, if I got a, a gun and shoot them, <laughs> um then the dogs can run after them. Echo especially, she is the, the retriever. Oakley will run half, he'll run behind Echo about halfway and then he, if you've seen the footage or you can look back and watch them, he, he'll go to ground and wait for her to come back past and then join in on the way past. And then Neil wanted to get some ammunition and somebody was saying, selling these for um, two pounds. I'm not, how many are in here, Neil? Oh, he's not listening. How many tennis balls are in these tubes? There's, there's four in a tube. Oh, so that's eight tennis balls because Neil said uh, you need ammunition. But <laughs> I said she's a retriever. She'll bring them back. <laughs> but anyway, we've got spares. So judging by the, um, the last launching toy that we bought that came with its own tennis ball, you know, one good play session and that tennis ball was pretty much chewed up. So it's always good to have some spares. We don't let them have balls inside the house because these tennis balls are actually aren't very good for their teeth. So they shouldn't be allowed to chew on them. But just running in a field and catching them and bringing them back should be all right. 
So that's a really little haul, isn't it? You know, so it was uh, two pounds on the cat, two pound fifty, five, two, one, fifty p. Oh, Neil paid a pound for that, so it's one pound and then two pounds uh, each for the for the tennis balls. It was actually very cold. It was the first boot sale this this end of the season. Obviously, at the beginning of the year, I was wearing coats and things, but. I went out with um, coat and gloves and, and in fact I wore my gloves all the way around the Sunday boot sale. I was taking them off to look at things and then immediately putting them back on again so it really was bitterly cold. We seem to be in a real cold snap at the moment. It was freezing last night. But anyway, that is today's um, vlog so I will be back with you tomorrow. I've got to go to the dentist tomorrow. I'm having a, a root canal and a crown fitted tomorrow. So um, I hope to be able to get a vlog done in the morning before I go. Because <laughs> you're not going to want to look at me. Or maybe maybe I should do it after when I come back to show you my, do, my new tooth and, and a frozen face. That will be amusing. We'll see. There will be one tomorrow for some reason. Anyway, take care. Lots of love. Bye.